on this week's show, we bid farewell to Mike Horn as he departs on his latest adventure. We follow the record-breaking kite surfing crossing from Monaco to Calvi. And we pay a visit to the Prince Pierre Foundation Literary Council in Paris. Mike Horn has departed on his next great adventure, a challenge that will take him around the world from one pole to another, from south to north, in just two years. Really showing the beauty of the planet to people, because we live lives where we try to protect ourselves from nature. We stay in harbours, we don't go out, we have lots of problems that are really made up in our heads, and that takes freedom away from us. I also think that this expedition will show that you can be free if you want to be. This 42,000 kilometer global circumnavigation won't just involve sailing. Mike Horn will also be crossing deserts, seas and ice flows on foot, on skis, in a kayak or in a 4x4. Before Mike Horn left the Principality, Prince Albert came to visit him and they both agreed to meet on the 6th of May 2018 upon his return. C'est parti! We stay on the sea with this record-breaking kite surfing crossing between Monaco and Corsica. Maxime Nouchier, one of the most talented riders of his generation, is the man who broke the record with a crossing of 4 hours and 13 minutes. It was a bit complicated because we had a 25 knot wind to start with and then a big lull in the middle and then the wind picked up again. It wasn't bad, I'm really happy because we beat the record by an hour and we'll be back for further adventures soon. Maxime Nouchier, seven times world champion in the discipline, is the new record holder. But it wasn't just a sporting challenge, it was also an opportunity to raise funds for the association fighting against cancer that he created, an illness that particularly affected him when his mother died. The Literary Council of the Prince Pierre Foundation met at the Grand Vefour in Paris to choose the names of the five authors to be selected for the Literary Prize. After a long discussion, the names selected were unveiled and they are... Adonis, Charles Danzig, Michel Del Castillo, Denis Tillinac and Michel Tremblay. One of these authors will be the next winner of the Literary Prize following in the footsteps of Chantal Thomas who won in 2015. The writers who were in the running to win the Discovery Grant were also unveiled. They include Pascal Manoukian for Les Échoués and Garance Meillon for Une Famille Normale. The 2016 prize winners will be revealed during an award ceremony in the Principality at the start of the autumn, an event that promises to be extra special as the Foundation is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. This development will transform the look of the west entrance to Monaco. The Pasteur development should become a reality around 2020. Designed by Christian Curot and François Lallemand, it is part of the urbanisation project on the land where the railway line used to go. This area will include several things, a secondary school, a gymnasium, a multimedia library, as well as a postal sorting centre and a waste recycling centre. This construction site is especially complicated as it has to be integrated into a built-up area. It is a major project that will last for four years. We end with this great idea from the new National Museum of Monaco. You'll get to discover a work of art in just 10 minutes with an expert. These sessions take place once a week during the lunch break. The interesting part is talking with people, to have a conversation with them. Visitors get to discover a work of art along with its artist, like here with the Dwayne Hansen exhibition. It's a good opportunity for a cultural lunch break. Time to go. See you next week. Yeah.